Welcome to this Business Central launch edition of 2025 Release Wave 2. This session is about manufacturing analytics. Why would we invest in this area? Well, using both reports and business intelligence can really help you get a better understanding of your performance and waste in your production processes. And in this wave, we are completing our modernization of this area, both with existing reports and with the Power BI app. The updated Power BI app for manufacturing makes it much easier to spot production issues, reduce waste, and keep operations running smoothly. Um, and similarly with the modernized reports, uh, these insights can help your production teams or your manufacturing teams um, just get the data you need without customizing anything and just save some time and helping uh, your team make smarter decisions. So I mentioned modernization. This is actually a theme of completing that. This, this is a theme for, for this particular wave. Um, and for manufacturing, we have completely modernized our reporting and BI or analytics uh, story, period. What does that mean? That means we are finishing, we have finished the Power BI app and we have modernized all uh, analytical reports, either uh, giving them Excel layouts and maybe also Word layouts. So for the updated Power BI app, the main um, improvements we have here is simply we have addressed feedback. We tried to take the app through the normal business scenarios and then we spotted small things that just should be better. And uh, one of the bigger things that I just want to show you here is that every measures, every number you see in the app now show data in a universal uh, unit of measure for capacity that you choose inside Business Central. Just one example of that here, I'm showing it for the current utilization report, but this goes across every single measure uh, related to capacity, is you notice that on the, the right here, in, on the actual report, you see uh, something called show capacity in days, and that matches both the caption but also the numbers, uh, what you have chosen to set up in your manufacturing setup in Business Central um, as show capacity. So, so those now completely match in, in the BI part of your ERP. For our built-in reports, this means that this section is not for Power BI. Uh, you should definitely go and update or install the Power BI app for manufacturing and just try out the new features. We'll also document, of course, all of those in, uh, in, in the release node and in Microsoft Learn. But uh, for built-in reports, what does modernize mean? Well, it means that we wanted to enable end users to analyze data in Excel and also change the layout, which is why we have chosen Excel and Word as the layout options for manufacturing and analytics reports. And then the second part of the modernization is what we call discoverability, so that uh, we also uh, added in-client help and uh, added articles in Microsoft Learn, our documentation, so that customers can actually find the reports and learn what they can use them for. This is just one of the examples, uh, a recent example. Um, this is the where used top level manufacturing reports. And what you see here is the legacy layout uh, for that report. It just gives you a PDF and there's no kind of navigation, sorting, filtering ability here. With the, the new version here of, so we kept the report, we just added a second layout, which is a, a, an Excel layout. And uh, with this, first of all, uh, it has all the capabilities of Excel, so you can filter, sort. Um, it also has a printable um, worksheet um, in, the, in the workbook, so if you really want to print, you can also do it there. But another thing is that you can take this layout and make it your own and then upload that uh, just using Excel. For discoverability, here is an example of the inclined help. So what you see up um, when you open the request page 
Each of the reports now have what we call a cheating tip. Um, you don't have necessarily to have them enabled everywhere, but when you choose um, the caption here, you get some notification of, or idea of what this report is about. If you choose show help or open the help pane, uh, that same message is shown here, including a link to the uh, documentation article for this particular report. And if you then choose that, here's just an example of, of this, how it looks in Microsoft Learn. Each of the reports have a section of what the report shows, as well as a section on how you use the report, and then uh, some triad links. These articles might also have alternatives, alternative ways to analyze this particular scenario. Could be that this report that have been in the product for 30 years now also have a counterpart in Power BI. If that's the case, we'll also have a section on alternative ways to do that analysis. Now, um, we were actually supposed, if you watch the video from the last launch event from 2025, wave one, um, I had a video there on manufacturing reports as well, where I mentioned these, I think, eight, uh, six updated and two completely new reports. They were supposed to ship in 26.2 uh, for some reasons I don't have to talk about here. We needed to postpone that until version 27.0. So if you're watching this video for version 27 or 2025 release wave two, all of these reports are there as well as three more. So on the bottom here, you can see quantity explosion of a bill of material where I used top level, the one I showed you, and a completely new report for product, production order lists. So all the reports that we postponed plus three new is what you get here in version 27.0. If you want to learn more about manufacturing analytics as a whole, we have an AKA link for that that takes you to this landing page for manufacturing analytics. So aka.ms forward slash BC manufacturing analytics. So go check that out. We should have everything covered with personas, use cases, everything you need to know if you need to analyze data for your production uh, should be here uh, from this landing page. And that's it. Just a few things if you have not been here before. Um, the, uh, the product group uh, here, we have a LinkedIn page that we definitely want you to, to follow. This is where you get all the news, uh, weekly news, um, deep dives. Uh, you, you just get like, um, you get the news way before uh, the launch event. So definitely go and, and follow us on LinkedIn. And uh, we also, uh, since you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we have a YouTube channel, uh, not only for the launch ev events or the, the launch editions, but also everything else from tips and tricks and deep dives and under the hood podcast and, and what have you. So the aka.ms forward slash BC YouTube uh, is definitely a place where you should get your learning on if you're interested in Business Central. And a few more resources and then I'll uh, stop. BC All, aka.ms forward slash BC All, is a partner landing page for all the, the AKA links relevant uh, for you. If you have anything as a partner, any discussion or question, um, the, the, our Yammer site is the place to go. No customers are there. So if you're a customer, sorry, that's not for you. aka.ms forward slash BC Yammer, go there to, um, to learn more. And for both customers and partners, we have office hours roughly uh, once a month. And uh, that link here, BC Office Hours, is where you get to learn more about all of that. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great other um, uh, videos um, or, or learning resources for, for our 2025 release wave two. Thank you.